All right. Hey, my friend, welcome to today's episode where we're going to talk about the fear of failing at treatment. And so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Matt Cotty. I'm the founder of Restored Minds and the creator of the AAA Response. And before we dive into the show, just wanted to let you know this week, as in the, the week of February 19th, um, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I am running a three-day live intensive where I'm going to be diving in to a ton of content and then also doing live Q&As with all members who attend and providing you with a custom strategy after the three-day workshop where I'm going to connect with you personally and really go through specifically what you need to be doing to, um, you know, and focusing on to really take your life back from OCD and anxiety. So if that feels right to you and it feels in alignment with you and you would like the idea of working together live with me, um, check out the links in the notes and please register as soon as you can because we still have some seats available. So please take advantage of that if that is something that interests you. With that said, Let's go ahead and dive into one of the common questions that I get um, when it comes to OCD and anxiety. And it comes in a variety of ways, but really it's this idea of what if this doesn't work for me, right? Like what if, you know, treatment doesn't work? What if I can't do this? What if uh, this process doesn't work for me? And really at the, at the very core of it is this fear of what if I fail, you know? What if I try this and fail? What if I try this and it doesn't work? And... You know, what I believe is underneath that is this this sense of, of hopelessness that, that many of us get into when it comes to OCD and anxiety. When we're in that loop, especially for long periods of time, um, you know, we, we can begin to become hopeless about the future, right? We've tried a lot of things, um, tried, you know, maybe talk therapy, tried, you know, a supplement, tried a special tea, you know, whatever it was, and it didn't work or it didn't do what we were hoping it would. And so we immediately equate that as it failed. And that and that or or even worse, I failed, right, as an individual. And because it's because especially if you see someone else who's had success, it's it's um very easy for the mind to try to internalize it like you're the problem. You know? And the reality is 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 none of that's true, right? So Part of, you know, the fear of failure is, is kind of twofold or overcoming the fear of failing is twofold. Number one, you first you have to kind of understand that there's no real such thing as failure other than not doing anything, right? That's the only real way you can fail because at the end of the day, anything you try and if it doesn't go exactly as you thought it might, it, it still pointed you in a clear direction and put you one step closer, Right. You know, I heard a story, right, that Thomas Edison famously said, like, you know, he tried over 2000 ways to develop the light bulb. And, you know, ultimately when asked, like, hey, like, you know, you failed 2000 times. Like, I didn't fail. I figured out 2000 ways not to make a light bulb. Right. The the point of that is each failure, quote unquote, was just a tweak and a step that ultimately got him to his destination. When it comes to treatment, the only way you could truly fail is to not do anything because you know for a fact that not doing anything is going to keep you where you are. And if you don't like where you are, then by not doing anything, you're sure to kind of stay there. You know, that's, that's the only real way you can fail at this, in, in my opinion. Are there things that people are going to offer that don't really work? Sure. You know, like, are they, are the people going to misguide you? Sure. And they, and they probably are very well intended, you know, but that's why I'm Really getting guidance from someone who's actually gone through the problem itself, gotten results, is going to be your best option. You know, because you're gonna be mixing in both clinical and personal experience. And in that personal experience, I think is even I, I would argue more valuable than clinical experience. Um, you know, because if a person's personally done whatever it is that, you know, you're trying to do, they know the nuances. It, it's, it's much like, like to use a different analogy. If you were going to start a business, do you want to go to, let's say a Harvard MBA professor who's never started a business, but knows all the theory about business and knows a ton of stuff about business? Or do you want to go to someone who's built, you know, an eight figure business? Right. Like if you were going to pick your mentor, which one would you pick? One knows all the information in theory. One's actually been successful. 
right? You know, and, and this and this is the same kind of thing when it comes to the fear of failing. What it's really about is your willingness to just show up for yourself and to not to not avoid the hard work by saying, well, because I might fail, I'm just not even going to try. Like that mentality is, is definitely not going to get you where you want to go. <clears throat> and what you have to understand is that if you really scratch the idea of there's no such thing as failure, there's only learning. There's only really me learning. There's me learning what didn't work and there's me learning what works. And if you, if you start there and really understand that the only thing that I'm going to do is learn my way to success, you know, and, and some people, you know, I, I love, I love people that talk about this, but there's people that talk about this idea of failing your way to success, like thing after thing after thing didn't work. And, and if you're persistent and you just keep going, like you will get there. So when it, when it comes to this idea of, well, what if this doesn't work for me? What if I fail at treatment? First understanding that the only way you can fail is by not trying anything. That's really the only way. So as long as you're trying and moving forward, you you will get there, right? Like, you know, because that, that persistence is what is key to success in this. Secondly, one of the things that I think this this does is it is it displaces responsibility, this idea. It says, oh, well, will this work for me? Right, putting it out as as something else is responsible for getting you where you want to go. What you got to understand is anything that you're going to use externally is secondary to you putting it into practice. Okay, so when someone enrolls in in let's say this three day intensive or you know a, my twelve week program or works with me one on one, a lot of times you know people will ask this question, well, like, will this help me? And at the end of the day, like. I believe 1000% in what I teach that by implementing what I teach, that will help you, right? Like I, I, I know I've seen it too many times. Like I, I feel very confident in this process, but if you don't put it into practice, it's not going to help you. You know, it's, it's, it'd be like showing up to the gym and saying, well, as long, if I show up to the gym and just stand here, is that going to make me skinny? And it's like, well, no, you know what I mean? Like that's, you have to actually go and implement right and so anything you're seeking outside of you is not the solution right it's it's your guidance that's going to help you implement the things that you need to do to get better so the fear of failing oftentimes uh, or or looking at a uh you know a program a book or whatever it is that thing is not going to be the thing that quote unquote gets you better. It's you or you implementing that in your life that's going to get you better. What that is doing is it's time consolidating the your your ability to learn this in a very short manner. Right? So for instance, if someone takes a book, right, and they're like, well, I'm going to read the like, so you know, I was just reading this book. Um called The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles. So, yeah, really, really good book. It was written a long time ago. And, and it's just, and I've read it before and I'm reading it again now. I just enjoy the book a lot. And me reading the book is not going to do anything. Me applying what the book is, is, is saying is going to be much more fruitful in my life when it comes to, you know, finances, right? And, and you know, it, it's the same kind of concept here. If like the fear of failing at treatment Number one, you need to let go of the idea of there is no such thing as failure as long as you're moving forward. And anything you do that even puts you in another step toward closer towards your goal is a success. That's how I would see that. And, and the second thing is really this idea of you've got to understand that you can't look outside of yourself for, for the primary thing that's going to make you better or get you better. You are the primary thing. You are responsible. You are the cause. Okay? Like you have to own that and say, I'm the cause. And if I'm not better, it's because I'm not doing the things I need to do. And then when you're seeking guidance outside of yourself, whether that's in an intensive or whether that's through a program or whether that's through, uh, you know, in anything, right? There's nothing wrong with seeking guidance out of yourself. In fact, you should do that because what that's going to do is help you get clear on a path and learn skills that you can implement 
that will short shorten the time than you having to try to just figure it out on your own. That's that's the difference right there. And so, um, you know, I I just wanted to really stress this idea because it's it's a matter of you have to realize that there is no failure in treatment as long as you're moving forward. And once you understand that, then each step is the correct step. And no matter how many steps it takes you, that's just how many steps it takes you. It doesn't matter. Once you let go of the idea that this needs to be the only thing that works for me, it's like, no, because then that's actually paradoxically going to keep you stuck here. So I just really wanted to stress these two points today because it's such a common question that I get. And, I, and the question itself is is paradoxically keeping people stuck. So I uh, hope this was helpful. I hope this served you. And again, if you want to join me on my three-day intensive, uh, I've never run it before. I'm really pumped about it. Um, you know, and, and we, it looks like, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about all the stuff we're going to be covering. We have some um, amazing people who have already signed up. So uh, if that's interesting to you and that feels aligned with you, please secure your spot. Click the link below and, uh, and head over and, uh, and secure your spot. So thank you so much. Wish you guys a great week and I will talk to you soon. Hey there. So if you enjoyed that video, we've linked up a few more videos that we think you'd find helpful as well. And if you have found this helpful, we'd really appreciate your support by liking and subscribing. And if you're looking for help and guidance, please check out restoredminds.com as we have several options for you to get started. See you guys soon.